And of course, last week, shareholders met to extray the in-house review done by the Corporate Affairs Commission on the Companies and Allied Matters Act, popularly known as CABA. Some issues were raised, and on the show this evening, we'll discuss those concerns with a shareholder and the Executive Secretary of the National Coordinating Committee of Shareholders, Mrs. Thorpe Oludewa. Good evening, ma'am, and welcome to the program. Thank you. All right, so we know that uh, there's been a draft of the Companies and Allied Matters Act. Yes. But of course, you are one of the major investors in the market. Earlier on, I was telling you, I've seen you at several AGMs, the annual general meetings. Uh, how does the current state of the karma, 20-year-old, 1990-constructed uh, 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 law or regulations, affect you shareholders? Well, um, thank you very much um, for inviting me. What has happened is that the old act really um, does not adequately um, provide for the shareholder association. One of the good things that uh, this draft bill has done is that there is at least a mention right. of the association of shareholders in um, section 607 there. That's the current one. The, 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 the bill. Draft, right, the draft. So the, 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 yeah, there is at least a mention there. Okay. Yeah, which is not in the old one. Uh, so I would say that... Um, the old one, really, the old act, the 1990 act, didn't really um, want to think of us. But now the, the new act, the new bill, uh, there's at least some hope in, um, for shareholder association. I, I believe it's not just an, uh, a case of um, relevance or recognition of shareholders. Are there some uh, uh, typical issues that it doesn't address and the draft or the bill has now brought, you know, uh, it's a front burner, and you really are happy with it as, a sh as shareholders. Well, um, the old bill, the, the old law, the 1990 Act, um, addressed some specific issues, which in the new, this new one has actually, um, the draft does not even, um, we don't agree with some of the provisions in the, um, the, this new bill, really. Okay. Uh, we don't agree with some of the provisions. Um, but uh, be that as it may, the fact that... Um, the word shareholder association, association of shareholders, is at least mentioned in the bill. Mm -hmm. And um, we feel that it's a, a, a step in the right direction uh, for the recognition of the shareholder association as um, a forum for um, consultation with um, shareholders generally. So how does this bill now address the issue of an audit committee that shareholders are concerned about? Okay. Um, it doesn't really address it as far as we are concerned because what, it has, what has happened is that this bill now says that there will be seven um, shareholders right. um, without the directors who will be members of the audit committee. And we feel that if um, directors are not members of the audit committee, the committee will not be effective. The committee will not be effective because um, the directors, they bring... They bring um, a different um, respectability. Right. They bring a, a different um, uh, power um, because the shareholders uh, themselves only on the um, audit committee without a budget. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, don't, there's no, they don't control any money. Um, it would be difficult for the um, audit committee to be effective. Mm -hmm. And we feel that for the audit committee to be effective, there must at least be a few, one or two or three um, directors must be part of the committee. But what has happened now is that this new bill um, has said that it's only shareholders who will be part of the committee, who will make up the committee, seven shareholders. And we feel that that is not good enough, that we need to be able to have, um, to be effective and to be, um, to be able to bite you need to have the directors there. Okay, how about qualifications, in terms of qualifications of the uh, audit committee members? Well, the um, 1990 Act um, did not really give any qualification. Okay. just says um, um, a shareholder, any right. shareholder could be uh, nominated by another shareholder into the audit committee. Right. But this new bill has uh, listed that the shareholder must... Uh, must um, be um, knowledgeable in law okay. um, or uh, accountancy, accountancy or internal yeah. control. Um, 
But does that go down well with shareholders? Um, not really. Not really because um, we feel that um, you don't have to be a lawyer. You don't have to be an accountant. You don't have to be an internal control person to be able to uh, be a member of the audit committee. Mm. Um, there are some people who are knowledgeable in, by association. Right. Uh -huh. Some people who have worked in companies and uh, attained some very um, high position uh, in some companies before. And such people, whether they are lawyers or non-lawyers, whether they are accountants or non-accountants, um, they will be effective. I, uh, what they should, what should uh, they should do is yes. um, we need people who are knowledgeable yeah. um, in um, company uh, matters. Yes, company matters. It doesn't have to be a lawyer. It doesn't have to be an accountant. It doesn't have to be an internal auditor or internal control person. And that's the way we say it. Mm. Okay, so you're very optimistic that uh, the, the workshop that you've had last week will address some of these reviews uh, at the end of the day? Yes, okay. we are optimistic. All right, mm -hmm. thank you very much, ma'am, for, uh, for coming to Capital Markets. We've been mm -hmm. speaking to Mrs. Top Oludewa, uh, one of the key facilitators of the uh, or, or coordinator of the National Association of Shareholders in Nigeria.